Hello everyone again. Uh, my name is Daniel Chen. Daniel Awesome Chen. A Chinese Norwegian live in Japan. I'm a violin maker, bow maker, and a violin string maker. Today I'm talking about the sound post. Uh, the soul, so called. So the correct position of a sound post. What will this place will be? The sound post is placed inside the violin below the bridge. On the G string side, we have a bass bar. Bass bar is inside, you can't see. It's under the bridge. And on this E string side, we have a sound post inside. First of all, the length of the sound post should not be too tight or too loose. If it's too loose, it will drop. If it's too tight, uh, the sound is not easy to get out, it's difficult to vibrate, stop the vibration, and also it, it can damage your violin. It have a, some crack here. It can, it can cause some crack here and, uh, at the, the spot, the sound post spot. So, and the, the angle should be absolutely correct. So, the sound post work is a professional work. I do not recommend uh, uh, amateurs to do it. If you are a violin teacher, you are an advanced violinist, you can learn from a violin maker and learn how to make it. I think you can do it. But for complete amateur, don't do it because it requires uh, professional skills. So the correct place, uh, why we call it sound post as solo? Because that really, really uh, makes the difference of the sound. Just a small touch on the sound post, the sound is completely changed. It's like a, a weight lift, uh, lifting. If the, uh, if the sportsman stand firmly at one spot, he can do it. Even his body just uh, do a little like this, he's not able to lift such a such a heavy weight. The same thing with the sound post. Just a little difference makes great difference with the sound. First of all, the standard position of the sound post is uh, below, uh, behind the bridge. Behind the bridge and the e, at the E string, the feet the middle of the eastern street, just half a half a sound post, or two one per one sound post. So it means that three millimeter to six millimeter, after three millimeter to six millimeter, and uh, between this you can move. The closer to the bridge, the sound come out more directly, more straight away, away from the bridge. Far away from the bridge, the sound is getting warmer, darker, and softer. So you have to adjust the position the best you like. And uh, try to touch the button and the top. Use your, use, just, just a minute, I, I take it in. Try to use your uh, try to use your uh, try to use your sound post center to do the work, and only touch the bottom of the sound post and the top of the sound post, not in the middle, because the middle the won't move. You just touch the button, the sound post will move. If you want to go forwards, you touch the button this way. If you can do backward and uh, going back, you come from this, this side, this side. Okay, so touch the button of the sound post, sound post will move. And uh, always work with the string half loosed, not completely loosed. Uh, or you can take all off doing like a professional violin maker. If you only adjust a little bit and uh, loose the string a little bit and do the work with your sound post setter. Another thing is that the sound post is not exactly stand straight, like this. It should be a little bit back like this, the same angle, same angle as the bridge. 
So if you bridge, you're going to 90 degrees this way, as I said before, and the sound post will be or should be the same, a little bit like this, not this way, but a little bit like this, the same angle. Of course, there is also another angle here, and I I tend to make the make the sound post a little bit like this, a little bit like this, but it depends on the sound. If the high position E string, you want the bright sound, you move a little straight. If you want more even sound, you make the feet going to the string, string string side a little bit. But this also takes a lot of a lot of practice, a lot of experience, and a lot of fun. You can you can you can play with with it. Uh, but be careful, don't damage your violin. Okay, thanks for today, and uh, I hope my video helps you. And I will talk about something else next time. Thank you. Bye-bye.